Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Brent Macklem, and I wanted to talk to you today about how you can charge your Rivian R1T with a Tesla wall connector. Now, the Rivian will not be my first electric vehicle. What you see beside me is a white Model 3. And on the far side over there, you can see a Chevy Spark EV. And what you can't see out of frame is an electric motorcycle. It's the live wire. So I've got a little bit of experience with electric vehicles, just in general, and charging electric vehicles. So when I purchased the uh, Tesla Model 3 uh, about four years ago, I purchased a Tesla wall connector um, with that. It's a Gen 2 wall connector. Recently, we went for the Rivian first drive. And when we went for the, um, the first drive event, the representative who took us out was kind enough to let me Test, test out my theory to see whether or not I could charge the Rivian um, at uh, the maximum rate, which is 48 amps, that a Rivian will take, or 11,500 uh, kilowatts, and um, see whether or not I could charge it at that rate using my Tesla wall connector. So bear with me, and I will uh, walk you through that video. Okay, so this is the trick to charging your Rivian with a Tesla wall connector. It's called Electron uh, Adapter. Now this is a uh, Tesla to uh, J1772 adapter. And the way you use it is you take your Tesla um, connector, you plug it into the one end, and you just got to pull the little trigger here to help help it in. And once you get that in there, um, you've got a J1772 connector that you can plug into your ribbon. Okay, here's a clip from the first ride that we took. And we tried connecting the electron adapter to the Tesla charger. We opened up the charge port on the Rivian uh, R1T. We plugged it in and you'll, you'll see in a moment here, it uh, searched and then it went red. So, give it a couple more seconds and then it turned green and everything was successful so just to check things out i went inside the cabin and double check that the charging amperage was set to 48 and as you can see there's about 14 or 15 miles per hour of charging so we had a successful test of the electron tesla to j1772 adapter all right, so here is what my current setup looks like. I've got a single Gen 2 Tesla charger that I use for my Model 3, and that is connected to a 60 amp circuit, a single 60 amp circuit. So therefore, that will allow me to charge my Tesla Model 3 at a rate of 48 amps. Now, if I add a second Gen 2 Tesla charger, I'll be able to network those two chargers together and charge two vehicles off the same 60 amp circuit at a 48 amp rate. So both my Tesla Model 3 and the Rivian will both get 11,500 kilowatt charging rates. The Tesla Model 3 will charge first because it'll be the primary charger. And then once the Tesla Model 3 is finished charging, the charger connected to the Rivian will start charging. So here are some of the options that I was contemplating. In order to, to resolve my dilemma so the first option would be to not do anything and simply use the electron adapter for um, for the rivian uh, that would leave me one charger for both vehicles the second option would be to uh, purchase a rivian charger take advantage of the smart charging features in the rivian charger and use the rivian charger to uh, again charge both vehicles the tesla and the rivian um, but that would leave me with the same in the same dilemma, having one charger for, for both vehicles. So that doesn't make sense. The third option would be the most expensive, and that being buying a Rivian charger and installing a completely separate circuit. Uh, therefore, I'd be able to take advantage of the Rivian smart charging, smart charger features um, and continue to maintain the current Tesla charger that I use for my Model 3. Um, the fourth option is the option that um, I think I'm going to go with, and that's try to purchase a, 
another Tesla Gen 2 charger to match the current charger and use the intelligent power sharing. Um, then I could uh, use the Electron adapter uh, for the one te Tesla charger to plug into the Rivian. Uh, if I can't find, so the, the fifth option here is, if I can't find a Gen 2 charger, purchase two Gen 3 chargers and use the intelligent power sharing feature. So this would cost me a little bit more, um, but the Tesla chargers, um, I believe they're above $400 right now on the website. So I could use the uh, power sharing feature on the Gen 3 chargers. Um, and then the last option, which I don't consider to be a viable one, simply because Tesla no longer offers the Tesla J1772 wall connector. Um, if I could find one, then I could certainly use that to connect to my current Gen 2 wall connector. Um, and then I wouldn't have to worry about the Electron uh, adapter. So there we are. For those interested, this is not a paid sponsored video. However, I will leave a link in the description below to the Electron adapter that I was using in my demonstration. The link will likely be an affiliated link that will help out with creating content for this channel in the future. All right, I think that concludes my video. So if you like this video and you found it informative, please click the like button. If you want to follow the channel and subscribe to uh, some of the other videos that I'll be putting out, uh, please click subscribe. If anybody out there has any comments on another solution, I'd be more than happy to hear them and maybe we'll take them up. Uh, other than that, thank you very much.